Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about this. Zombieland 2 Double Tap with Woody Halson, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg and Abigail Breslin all back together again in Zealand, trying not to be eaten by zombies. Pretty much exactly what they were trying to achieve way back when, when the first one came out. Okay, right. Back in a second. Okay, right, so Zombieland 2 Double Tap. Now, this is one of those sequels that has been in development hell and in turnaround for years and years and years. After the first one, there was pretty much an instant urge to put a second instalment out, but it just never happened. They tried to make the TV series with Amazon, but that didn't happen either. And now we are back with all principles assembled. And Fleischer, of course, coming off the huge success of Venom. Pretty sure that getting the money to make the movie wasn't that complicated after all. What you have here, and I've, and I've read a couple of things about this, that people aren't happy with it, they feel that it doesn't really reflect the time we're in now as regards the Me Too movement and feminism and so forth, and I think that's, that's, a, that's a valid point in terms of the female characters in it don't have a great deal to do in stone. You know, she panics when commitment is put to her, then she runs away, then she comes crawling back and so forth. There's a notion that that is, you can picture like that, but I think with, with for me, what's going on here, if you want to look at it even from a line of being that that's not happening in the movie's world. The movie world is only three years on from the last one, three or four years on, so none of that would occur. Obviously, none of that has occurred. So in that sense, why would it reflect that? But beyond that, what this film is at its core is extremely simple. It's very simple, more of the same. This is somewhat like Clerks and Clerks 2 and Kevin Smith movies in that way, and I'm sure Jay and Silent Bob will be exactly the same when it comes. This is a movie made directly for the fan base of the original. It's not really concerned with attracting that many new fans or reflecting the moment or being part of what's going on now. It's simply a thank you note to those fans that have been banging on about a sequel to this film for years and years and years. And in that way, it delivers. Okay, right, Zombieland 2, double tap, it's in the cinema now. Go see it. Okay, right, I'll be back again soon.